Alright guys, welcome back to another video of um, me losing an Aeons in 2nd edition. Uh, going up against Crooked Mask, expert difficulty. This is my 15th attempt. My uh, Previously, the longest it took me to take out any of the Nemesis was 8. <sighs> this is 15. We're going to try it out and see. I'm using Brahma and Zaxos, and I'm using Jade, Sifter's Pearl, Clouded Sapphire. I'm mainly taking this one so that I don't get tempted to take it. Flexing Dagger, Focusing Orb, Phoenix Flame, same thing here, kind of so I'm not tempted. Feral Lightning, Chaos Arc, and Arcade Nexus. The idea, I'm going to try to do this game, oops, this is upside down, is... Essentially, if I have two power, I buy a jade. Three, I buy a sifter's pearl. Four, I buy two jades. Five, I buy a jade and a sifter's pearl. Six, I buy six, two sifter's pearl. And seven, I buy an arcane nexus. I'm going to follow that until all the jades and sifter's pearls are gone. And then, I'm still going to buy arcane nexus at seven. Chaos arcs at six. Feral lightnings at five. Focusing orbs at three. Or at four. Phoenix flames at three. Flexing daggers at two. And I'm just going to ignore Clouded Sapphire. That's essentially how I'm going to play this. And see what happens. Um, I need to get my economy up better. And I need those Arcane Nexuses. They're absolutely necessary. I need all of them. Um, yeah. Arcane Nexus and Feral Lightnings with Chaos Arcs coming later in the game. As I use Flexing Daggers and Focusing Orbs to open up. That's, that's essentially the strategy. So, let's get going. We're going to start with a Nemesis card. Skewer, Unleash. Any player... So what a terrible starting card. My lord. Alright, Unleash. Brahma gains a Corruption. Great. Shen suffers 3 damage. And draws a card. Horrible. Horrible start. <laughs> All right. Zaxos goes next. That's upside down. You know, prep Flare. And with four, he's buying two Jades. So the reason I'm able to attempt the strategy of just going pure gems is because of Flare has the potential to do three damage, which will allow me to get rid of that Corruptor early in the game. Hopefully. That's the theory, anyway. Nemesis, Hayspear, awesome, awesome. It's got five life, does damage equal to its current life to Greyfold, and then suffers one damage after every activation. Okay, Zaxus again. He's going to cast Flare for three, so that's good. Three damage to the Hayspear. So that's nice. And then he has four. So he's buying two more Jades. And we get Brahma. She's got Buried Light and four. So she's going to buy two Jades. And she gets to hold on to that uh, last spark. Garbage hand. And she gets to go again. Buried Light does one damage to the Hay Spearer. And she generates three total power. So... Two crystals. Buys a uh, Cypher's Pearl. Sorry, I didn't narrate that. Preps one spark. Draws four. It's corruption, spark. Two jades and a crystal. Okay. We'll cover decently from that. Nemesis, Hayspearer, kills itself doing one damage to Greyfold. Attempt to play with the most crystals in their hand, that's Sexus. Takes four damage, or sorry, discards all four crystals. Suffers three damage. And then buys a card worth four or less. So this is one of the only situations where I will buy Focusing Orb. Because I can't buy two Jades with that. 
That is Zaxxas' turn. He preps Spark and he is done. Whoa. That's a pretty cool hand, though. Okay, he gets to go again. He will cast Spark for one on Crooked Mask. He will prep Flare and then he generates eight Aether. I didn't really have a plan for eight. I don't want two focusing orbs. I'm going to just take the Arcane Nexus because that's that's the goal, right? So I do waste one, but... Okay, Brahma. Suffer one damage. Brings her to six. Turn a card that costs zero from your discard to your hand. She can't do that, but that's fine. She will cast Spark. Does one damage to Crooked Mask. Prep a Spark. And then she generates five, which is one Jade, one Sifter's Pearl. Nemesis gets to go. Nothing on the board. Burden. Players collectively gain two corruptions. So one each. Any player focuses a breach. We'll focus Brahma's fourth for now. And Brahma gets to go. She's going to cast Spark for one. Crooked Mask. Prep very light. And then she has four. Now this is a little bit different. Because she can't take Sifter's Pearl with something. So she'll actually take a Focusing Orb in this situation. Rather than two Flexing Daggers. It's easier to fit Flexing Daggers in on the back end of something else. And I definitely want all the Focusing Orbs. I feel pretty decent about it. Um, yeah. I wish they hadn't taken, you know, four damage and three damage, respectively, but um, that three damage card is unavoidable. Sorry. All right, Brahma first. Gravehold suffers two damage. Comes to 27. Focus a breach. Focus her fourth breach. I'll flip that over to... Zaxos, suffer one damage, focus any card. I'm going to move that over to Zaxos too, because that's the second time that's happened. Um, but she takes one damage. She then generates four power, and they will both discard. And with that four, she will buy a focusing orb. Okay, here's a, here we go. Nemesis, nothing on the board. We get Agony Field. Power 2. Unleash any player, discards 3 cards in hand, and then discards a card. You may destroy a card worth 2 or more to discard Agony Field. Okay. We get Zaxos. He's going to cast Flare. Does 3 damage. To Crooked Mask. He then generates five power, which is enough for a Sifter's Pearl. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sifter's Pearl and a Flexing Dagger. That's fine. Okay, he gets to go again. He's got Prep Spark. Um, hmm. I'm going to use Focusing Orb and buy a Sifter's Pearl. Sweet. 
I'm gonna get Brahma. She's gonna cast Berry Light, does one damage, endurance one power. So this is a total of six, eight, nine, ten aether. And Sifter's Pearl allows them both to uh, discard. So for ten, she's buying Arcane Nexus and a Sifter's Pearl. Very nice. So this is what I was talking about. Two, three, four, five. Though I probably should have uh, used, discarded one of those jades. All right, Agony Field loses a token, and now the Corruptor comes out. Six life. He has a 10 on deck as well. So, economy is basically set. Have some focusing orbs, have a couple flexing daggers. So that's all good. It's basically all spells until I go all charges now at this point. Okay, we do get Brahma next. Hmm. Can't really do anything to get rid of the Agony Field. So she's actually going to spend the four to. No, I'm not going to do that either. Yep, she's going to buy another Focusing Orb. And then she's going to use the Focusing Orb on Zaxos's fourth breach. Axos is going to cast Spark, one damage, Crooked Mask. He's going to destroy um, a Jade to get rid of Agony Food. He will then prep Arcane Nexus, which will allow him to double cast one of these Jades. So he has four Jades, that's eight Aether, and he will buy another Arcane Nexus. Nemesis is going to go. Corruptor does one damage to Grayfold. And then we get a Venomite. Nine life deals two damage to the player with the lowest life without unless you discard a spell worth three or more. We do get Brahma next. She will prep Spark. And she will use Focusing Orb to open Zaxos's fourth breach. And for three, she will buy Sifter's Pearl. Do get Zaxos, that's good. First, he's going to take two damage. One will return a crystal to his hand, and the other will give him one charge. Okay, so the charge one we're gonna give to Brahma. He will... Okay, then he gets to cast Arcane Nexus and do four damage. To the Corruptor, he does gain a Corruption card. He then gets to prep Flare, and he gets to use the Flexing Dagger on his third Breach, and he generates three Aether for the last Sifter's Pearl, and the Sifter's Pearl allows them to discard. Okay, so feeling pretty good. This is This is going a lot better than the previous one. Um, I, I feel like I got pretty good luck on the corruption cards. The main thing I have going for me right now is their economy is basically set. They're, I'm not buying any more gems the rest of the game, and I have four of the focusing orbs. Which means I can focus on spells and charges. Now... Just got to make sure, they both have five life. I just got to make sure they can hold out. And I feel really good about Grave Hold's life right now. I just got to make sure they can take these guys out and not get exhausted right now. Um, while I start acquiring spells and I'll be good. All right, so the Corruptor is going to do one damage to Grave Hold. I can't stop the Venomite. 
I'm going to have Zaxos take the damage. And drops in the three. Twisting Madness, power two. Grateful gains three life. Crooked Mask gains 13. Discard four cards in hand. Draw one card to discard. So that's a good one for Zaxus's next turn, I guess. Um, but I, my economy is strong to the point where I'm going to get hands with eight, 10 Aether now, um, which can fully charge a special ability. So that's, that's really good. And that's what I need. Okay. Oof. Don't like that. Okay. One damage to Gravehold. Venomite's going to do two more damage to Zaxos. That sucks. Take one token off Twisting Madness and lay waste. Unleash twice. They each gain a corruption with Shuffle. And any player takes two damage. So this is the real test, right? Did I waste a little bit too much time getting that economy going? I did get three Arcane Nexuses, so there is some damage potential in there, plus the Flare. Um, but did I waste too much time on that? And I'm now going to end up getting my characters exhausted. I got to be able to keep those, get those charges up. That's my top priority right now. And is that going to prevent me from getting spells like I did last time? Because I'm focusing just on healing. Okay. So we're going to cast Flare. Does three damage. We're going to kill the Corruptor with it. Against Corruption card, though. So we're going to discard four. That's going to cancel out Twisting Madness. Allows me to draw, ugh, draw a Corruption card. Okay, Grayfold suffers three. That's actually the only one that would, would have been useful to take. Uh, Grayfold suffers three damage, gain two life. So that heals him to three. So that's nice. And then the Crystal's just wasted. Brahma. She will cast Spark for two. Leaves Venomite with seven. Prep Arcane Nexus and Buried Light, which will allow me to double cast Sifter's Pearl. So, nope, they're going to keep that. So that's worth six Aether, and she will buy three charges. Getting good hands, though, I can say that. Damn. Player with the lowest life suffers two damage, or I have to get rid of the Arcane Nexus. Oh, I don't want to do either of those. Um, <sighs> discard that Nexus. Pulverizing Array, power one, does 18 damage. I have to sacrifice up to six gems. Okay. Red Light's going to do one damage to Venomite, generating one power. Prep the Spark. Focusing Orb on her third breach. And I have four, five, six Aether with which to buy three charges, effectively. I'll use her special ability once to heal her. Brings her up to seven, and she still gains one charge with the two Sifter's Pearl discards, and they will both keep. And we get Zaxos, okay. So he's going to prep Arcane Nexus and Spark. Arcane Nexus will double cast Sifter's Pearl, which I think we already did. Yeah, they're both keeping. So that's eight Aether, okay? Which is enough for, yep, he's gonna do it. He's gonna buy four charges, 
Activate his special ability. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He will buy four charges, though. Uh, the reason I'm not doing that is because it's the end of the round, and I lose the ability to do anything with the turn order deck. But I will fully buy up his charges. Two, three, four, five. Because I can use his ability during her turn as well. Give me good luck. Okay, Zaxus is again getting a relic from any supply pile. Okay, so he's going to gain Flexing Dagger for one damage. He will then cast Spark for one. Arcane Nexus for five, which is enough to kill the Venomite. Nice. Very nice. Focusing Orb on the third breach. And he has four um, Aether that he generates. Sifter's Pearl. And I guess he'll buy the last Focusing Orb. I don't want to buy Charges, because... Oh, no. No, I do, actually. I'm going to activate his main um, special ability first. He's going to give four Charges... Brahma fully charging up her special ability. And that allows him to reorder the Throne Arter deck. And he will. Hmm. I guess he can buy the focusing orb too. That's fine. damage, gain one charge, that's useless, um, but she will use her special ability first, which will give Zaxos four life, bringing him from two to six, so they're both at six life now, so that's nice. Spark will do two damage, two Crooked Mask, brings him to 60, and then she generates four, six Aether for three, oh man. For Chaos Arc, I guess. Sifter's Pearl. Both keep. So it's great to get her charges, but I need some spells too. Two, three, four, five. And I got a little bit of a lull right now. <coughs> she gets to go again, suffer one damage. Let me destroy a non corruption card in your hand. We'll destroy a crystal. And focusing orb on third breach. And then generates three for Phoenix Flame. Nemesis Pulverizing Ray activates. We're going to discard these two and these three. So Grateful takes three damage from Pulverizing Ray, dropping us from 21 to 18. Let me draw. Pain Sower. He has 11 life, does two damage to either player, and then focuses a breach of the opposite player. What's going on here? Oh, right. Pulverizing Ray. <laughs> okay. Grayfold takes two damage, drops it to 16, focus a breach. Gain any spell from the supply pile, Arcane Nexus. Gain three corruptions. 
place them on top of your deck. We're gonna give that one to Brahma. And then he has Flexing Dagger, which will allow him to open his third breach. Oof, that's not good. And Nemesis, any player suffers two damage. We'll have Zaxos take that. Drops him to four. But it focuses Brahma's third breach. Discard the top two cards of the Nemesis deck. Okay, both tier two. That's good. Kind of. All right. So I, it's, I'm in a winnable position. Brahma's got five life. Zaxos has four. Um... That's going to do four damage, though. So that's not good. I didn't realize that. Um, damn. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, so I, I'm going to lose. Just because of that. Unless I can get a heal off. I would have to... I would have to get extremely lucky. I would have to have Brahma go twice in a row... When she's got nothing this round on the first activation. And her second activation, she would have to have uh, 10 Aether to fully get five charges. And then heal Zaxos before his first turn. That's the only way he doesn't get exhausted. Which, it's not the end of the world, but it's not good. Alright, we do get Brahma first. She's going to open her third breach. Prep her spark. And that's her turn. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Mm. No, okay. I thought that was two arcane nexuses. So that's worth five aether. Or, yeah. So not going to happen. All right. Grateful takes two damage. I can look at the top card of my deck. And I may choose to destroy it. I will. Suffer two damage. Place a gem from the least expensive gem supply pile in your hand, which is actually Clouded Sapphire. Huh. I didn't even think about that, but that's really cool. Um... Discard two non-corruption cards in your hand. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I could double cast Sapphire. <sighs> That's so infuriating. Um, but I do get to take... One of the turn order cards. We will take Saxos's, I guess. And shuffle it back in the deck. Maybe we should take Brahma's. I don't. I don't know. Man, that's kind of frustrating. Oh yeah, he becomes exhausted. And destroys his first breach. Takes away all his charges. Uh, unleash twice. So one, that's 28 cards. And the second one does two damage to Greyfold since you can't unleash twice. Brahma gets to go next. Spark does two damage to Pain Sword, leaving him with nine life. Prep Arcane Nexus and Buried Light. Focusing Orb. Now I'll use it on Zaxus, I guess. 
And I generate five Aether because of the Arcane Nexus double casting the Jade. And I'll buy Feral Lightning. I need more spells. I'm not doing anywhere near enough damage. Um, I need more spells. All right. Gravehold suffers two damage. Brings us to ten. You look at the top card of your deck. You may destroy it. Nope. Cast Arcane Nexus for five damage. Two pain sword, dropping them to four. The two flexing daggers. Let me do that. And I generate four Aether, as well as a charge for Brahma. And he will buy two charges. So this strategy wasn't terrible. I didn't pivot from <sighs> gems to spells quickly enough. I didn't get enough Feral Lightnings or Chaos Arts. Arcane Nexuses are fine. Pain Sower is going to do two damage to Brahma. And open Zaxus's third breach or second breach. Doom Aegis, power one. Player with the most charges suffers four damage and loses all of their charges. That's not good. Uh, I can discard for seven Aether. Zaxos gets to go again. He's going to destroy Focusing Orb to heal three. Two Greyfold. Prep Flare. And then he generates four Aether. Not enough to cancel Doom Aegis, but it's enough for two charges. I feel like I did miss out at having a four cost damage spell. Um, hmm. All right, that's not good. So Doom Sower does two damage to Brahma, focuses a breach, which is nothing. Doom Magus activate. I'm sorry, Pain Sower. Doom Magus activates. It's gonna do four damage to Zaxos, and he loses all of his charges. So that's not good. And that does eight damage to Greyfold. Man, I'm losing a lot of confidence here, guys. And then we draw a card. I don't know. Now, if I am capable of beating this guy, I don't know how much of it's luck. I can't even get him. I have not once in 15 games or whatever it's been dropped him to 35 life. I, I can't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, that's game, her next activation is game over. Nemesis activation, that's game over. Nope. Rune Priest destroyed. Corruption technically is two damage, so I can take that on Zaxos. That will drop um, Grifold one, focus that breach, and then gain three corruption cards. That's six damage to Grifold. That puts me at negative five. So that's game. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, guys. I really don't. Focus too much on the economy. Still didn't get <sighs> charges up. Okay, here's what I can do. I can... Here's what maybe I did wrong. I kept buying gems until all the jades and... 
Sifting pearls were gone, and instead, I should have been buying spells. So I will try that one more time. So, like, I will go, same thing, go after the jades, go after the sifting pearls, until I get my first nexus card. Once I get seven once, and they eat, and for that character, and they get a nexus card, then they're all in on spells. Nothing else. And they ignore the gems at that point. Unless they don't have anything else they can buy. I, that's the only change I can see myself making. I could swap Rama out for somebody else. Does the healing matter? I don't know. I don't know. But you take so much damage. I don't see how it's possible to... I literally don't see, I just don't see it. I don't see how it's possible to play with anything else. You know, if I was to do Zaxos and Mist, for example. So, like, Zaxos is charging up Mist's ability, and Mist is giving Zaxos extra hand. Like, that's cool, I guess. So he could get, like, a 13-card hand or something, but he's just going to end up with, like, four or five of those being corruption cards and taking five damage. And then what? I have no way to heal it. You can't use Essence Theft to heal against Gorga Mask. It's just not... It's horribly inefficient. Because you have to discard cards on top of it. And, you know, you're already getting these really short hands from the corruption cards. I Maybe I'm playing him wrong. I'm, maybe I've misread a rule here and I'm just being... I mean, none of the other Nemesis are anywhere near this hard. Yeah, no, it looks like I'm playing that correctly. Okay. That was uh, attempt number 14. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then I'm going to come back and uh, try for number 15, I guess. All right, guys, stick with me. <laughs> help me, help me. <laughs> Love you guys.